everybody. Um, welcome to a Kid of the Month video with you for the August Kid of the Month um, playing in sunshine. And Tammy here with you today. I'm going to show you today how I made this um, cute little brag book and how I did the treatment on the um, lace that comes in the kit. This is really beautiful lace, but it's almost so fine you can't hardly see it. I'm going to show you a way that you can use it and get some texture and enjoy it. Okay? First of all, in your kit of the month, you will see that you've got a couple of huge tags. Um, by Fancy Pants, I believe it goes with the kit. Uh, memories captured, but well not the kit, the paper line memories captured. And um, in that kit, uh, in our August kit of the month, there's two of these humongous um, envelopes. What I did with a large one is I made a little brag book. Um, it was very simple to make. All I did was cut, use my scissors, I'm going to show this little one and show you how I kind of made that, um, cut along the sides with my scissors and I made sure I stayed right on the edge on both of these sides, okay, and then I flipped it open and I lined the inside with the black cardstock that comes on, it comes with the uh, add-ons, the cardstock add-on. And you can see I've got several pages here. Um, actually, I only use one sheet of cardstock to make this kit in its entirety. And I've got, well, not this kit. I keep on saying kit. Sorry. Um, to make this little brag book, I used the entire sheet of the black cardstock. First, I lined it, and then I went in behind it and made the um, center. There is a total, uh, there's quite a few pages to it that you can use to um, make your little brag book out of. I thought it was really cute. All I did was do that, line it with the car stock. Now, some people, I would give you the measurements. I'm gonna tell you that it's almost a 12 by 12 sheet that goes from um, side to side. And I just punched holes in the center here. You're only gonna have on the length just a little piece that you're going to cut off. That will measure up. Now, depending on how you feel, that's why I didn't really measure it. Some people may not want to line it where you have an outline edge of the black. I like the outline edge. I think it made a, a cleaner project. Um, it's just really up to you. Um, these are all the embellishments that come with the kit either either the add-ons or the main kit itself I have all the, I've incorporated probably every piece of the kit on here as humanly possible um, just because there's so many different elements to use uh, it would be it's just it's fun playing with all the different elements and combining them in and they all match up so perfectly well uh, for example these little cute little flowers that come in the kit um, they match really good with uh, the Fancy Pants uh, Memories Captured pattern paper and embellishments. And that's what I used this whole mini on is the Fancy Pants. Um, also, in the kit you'll get these cool little Fancy Pants or you can make little um, stencils. And instead of using the stencil set as it comes, I use the pop-outs, like for this little embellishment right here. And I colored it with the Distress paint that comes in the kit as well, and let it dry. And I actually used the little pop-outs from the, um, the stencils themselves to make an embellishment with. So that's an idea for you. I got tons of pieces, parts over here to play with um, to finish this brag book up. But um, another thing I wanted to show you on what I did is um, with this lace. This lace that comes in a kit is really, really pretty. However, it is so fine 
it almost disappears on your layouts. But I've got a solution to that problem. And here you can see the lace and it really pops out real well. You can see the texture that it makes. Okay? Set the mini aside and I want to show you what I did with this lace. I want to use it on see it almost disappears once you when you put it on a white background but this lace has a lot of cool features to it first I'm going to use some golden um, gesso and you can get that in the store as well as a lot of other golden products and I'm going okay I'm going to take a piece of this and trim it off so you can see what I do with it and the difference of it what all it can do okay I'm going to take my golden pounce a little bit and just color it in Now, this also creates, if you wanted to do a background with this, a cool background. All I did was take my paper and put over it and rub it in and dry it off and then repeated that step several times and got a real nice thick layer of the gesso on there. Actually, I want to move this paper for the time being. That way you can really see what it does here. My craft mat is really messy, so been playing with gesso and mist and some shimmer paint all day long. You can get a really nice effect with the um, this just using it as a texture as well. Just going over it with um, taking a piece of paper after you've added the gesso. And rubbing it on your project and lifting it off it makes a cool design on the background and I did that on the blue piece um, you can't see it but it's back here I just after I guess out it I laid it on my piece of paper laid a plain piece of white um, paper that I was just gonna throw away after I guess I rubbed it on and then lifted it off and I did it in several different areas it's you can see this part right here barely but it's there okay so I'm gonna draw this right quick it doesn't take long there's not a lot there to dry Okay, already nice and dry. Another thing you can do with it that I also did with the piece there that's um, on that um, on the brag book is take some Lindy's Mist. I'm using Fuzzy Navel Peach and mist it a little bit. That would be a way if you wanted to change the color to match a project that you're working on um, and have it to blend right in. I'm just going to take a paper towel and dab it up. Okay, another thing that you can do with it that I also did. <clears throat> it's nice and shimmery. Okay, is use some sh the shimmers um, texture paints that comes in the kit as well. This is in Sandy Stone. And this is really cool. I really like this. This is kind of like a double whammy on getting texture and coloring it in as well. I like this a lot. So take some shimmers and get some out and then just smooth it on. Now, you're going to color in some of the, that gesso is going to grab some of the shimmers 
and it's going to give a thicker area of color. But something else cool that goes on as well is, see if I can do this without messing up, it creates a really cool background for texture. Check that out. Don't that look cool? And then I'll go into another area, color in some more. And you just keep on with this process until you got the whole piece colored in. Now, what was once transparent almost on your project now pops out and stands out as a really nice piece of texture. Here's another look at it. All right, and here is what the final piece looks like that I've colored. And you can see now that versus this, you can really see this piece as opposed to that one. And that's what I used behind this area here. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's video, uh, this month's video, rather. And give it a play. Play with some of the cool stuff that comes in this month's kit. I really hope you get your hands on one that's packed full, as it always is, of cool things to use. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.